Okay, this video we're going to talk about how to customize a Google map and adding layers. So when we're on our Google account, let's go and click Google Maps. And when we're here, I want you to go to the left-hand corner and it's going to say Menu, the three lines, and click that. And the op you're going to get a lot of different options. And what I want you to do is go down to that third section and click your places. When you're at your places, when you click that, you're going to see an option where it's going to say uh, your places and on the far right. It's going to say maps. And what I'd like for you to do is click maps. And when you click maps, there'll be a little um, plus down at the bottom where it says create maps. So when you click maps, now at the very bottom it say create map. Click that. Okay, when it opens, what says untitled map, I would like for you to call it disasters and then the hour that you're with me. So if you're in second hour, call it disasters two. And when you hit save, it'll give it a title. So when we look at this, we're gonna see where it says untitled layer. I would like for you to click that, and in my directions, I've given you a choice of 10 disasters. I would like for you to pick one of those. Um, so you will type that type of disaster in the box to name it, and you hit OK. And it will go ahead and put that name in that layer. So once we've added that layer, we're going to click Add Layer again, and we're going to name this layer with the second natural disaster that you have chosen. And when you type the name in there, we're going to add in a third layer. This third layer will be our third and final natural disaster that you have chosen. So when you're finished, you have the name of a map, and then you will see three different layers. Three layers. I want you to click a new tab, and I want you to look up. Let's look at our first layer, and I think on mine it was flooding. So I want you to look up um, examples of two examples of the two disaster two disasters that were in your category. So on my flooding one, I'm going to look up the world's worst floods. And I'm looking here, and I want to find out where it happened, when it happened, and some human cost, an environmental, the environmental damage, or an economic damage of that particular natural disaster. We're going to have those three things. OK, when we have our information, we're going to click on our natural disaster. And on this one's floods. And when I click on it, um, there's going to be a little rectangular box, the search box, and I'm going to type in, uh, it talked about the Yellow River, the Yellow Rivers where it occurred, so I'm going to look up the Yellow River in China, and it's going to pop up, and I'm going to click Add to my map, and it will add to our map right there. And what I'd like for us to do is make a sequence of numbers, so it'll put a number with these. Okay, so once we have our place on our map, let's change it to where it's going to put a number with it. So if we click over here where you see that um, kind of a paint roller, if you click that, individual styles, I think it's what it's called, and then I would like for you to click sequence of numbers. That's when it'll add a number to the places that you put on your map. Now we're going to add our information. So if you click on the three dots in your natural disaster, and if you click Open Data Table, when you click that, up at the top, it's going to have the location. And right in the description is where you're going to type the year that occurred and the type of damage that transpired at that place.